Actually, now I think about it, how much more powerful would Captain America be if he had something like the Master Chief suit? Uh, why did I put it there? Right, Heart, idiot. Hydra, Hydra does not survive. Hmm. Hydra never or it survived. Does, depending on what continuity. Uh, you missed the premiere, Goldie. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I, okay. Earlier today, I had a therapist appointment, and it took a while going through uh, it. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, one of my own videos premiered, so there was that going on. Yeah. Well, somebody had attempted to imposter you, apparently. Yeah, I already reported his ass. Yeah, we all did. It's a good, I, I thank Matt Munchkin for uh, pointing that out. I'm like, boy, you gonna try to impersonate me? My alt account has been oh. found, boys. It's you over, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, brother. You ain't on my, you ain't on my beans, no. I can't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna finish that because we're on Twitch. I'm not gonna finish yeah, that because we're on Twitch. The reason yeah. I say bitch is because I have this strange. We already know what the original word is, and we don't want to exactly. risk any problems. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that because Twitch. I don't. Yeah. Mom, I think the only one out of us has, who has done that joke and said that word was Solar. Yeah, yeah well, I, 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 I... Well, Solar's, Solar's, not a, carry... Solar's not afraid of saying the word. Also, I gave Solar the epic path of the word. I gave it the pass, brother. It's like, no. I did not regret it. I did not regret saying that. <laughs> bird, no, bird. bitch. Bird is weird. Regret everything. <laughs> I will not. I refuse. <laughs> I wonder, hey, has anyone seen the comic backstory of King Kong for the, like, new uh, King Kong? I can't believe his mother gave birth to him in the middle of a fight between Kong's parents and the skull crawlers. It was gruesome. Yeah, that seems to be a running theme with a lot of stuff now. Behold my unstoppable force of nature. <laughs> nature always wins. Oh. Coming down with the sickness. I don't even think he's aware. What? So, they what? King Kong was given was like, okay, we just got through this thing from Vlad, where it was like King Kong was basically born when his what mother gave birth to him in the middle of a fight between King Kong's parents and whatever those other things were, and then you said, Behold... My unstoppable force of nature! <laughs> and we were, uh, and we the timing on that. Yeah. It was perfect. Alright, I'll give you that. <laughs> Woo! Um, but yeah, no, I'm on like, a roll! Like, like, I, like, I just have to think, King Kong's parents gave birth, like, it had, like, he was born in the middle of a fight, uh, fucking ha Sigmar Heldenhammer from Warhammer was born in the middle of a fight between his parents and fucking orcs. Like, what is this? Is this the new, like, is this the new, like, the hero's journey? Be born while your so. parents, be born while your parents are owning hardcore ass? Revolver Oslot. Fucking Revolver Ocelot was born on a battlefield, wasn't he? Yes! Yes, he was! There are a lot of people who were born in the middle of a war, which is the quite alarming considering they put okay, Jesus put Christ so this started to put <laughs> up his razor so wire pregnant, it's like they put so many pregnant women on battlefield yeah then, <laughs> like in, nature decided nope we cannot wait <laughs> put the pregnant wait. women on the battlefield it'll increase our power <laughs> said every government ever I mean at least it's not as bad as Guts's birth from Berserk oh Jesus Christ you know what I'm talking about, don't yes, you? Yes, oh my do. god, it is so fucking gruesome! That is, shit is I don't fucking wanna know. You don't want to know. This anime oh. was not safe for pussy, and yet I watched it. Do you know what the great <laughs> thing is? The, the manga still isn't finished. The story still isn't finished. I hear a lot there. of things about Berserk. None of them pleasant. Berserk None is, of them are pleasant, no. Berserk is just the pack. story of... Berserk is the story of two best friends getting into an argument and then one of them getting on a boat to go for a ride and calm down. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I should not have done that. No, wait, I, I 
really should not have fucking done that, right? You moron. In one of the endings, in this one, in the ending of the original Berserk anime, it ended in a WTF moment. Yes, because that was the end of the Golden Age arc. That was the end of the Golden Age arc. Yes, it was so freaking crazy. Okay, this is what I, is this what happens when you let chaos go crazy? Yeah! Fuck you! In a sense, yeah, that's kind of like, okay, so I'm gonna give a little bit of spoilers from the manga. You know how, like, Griffith, the leader of the Band of the Hawk, was his whole reason for doing that and doing that Automatic awful thing that, that is worse than, worse than a war crime to, because yeah. he wanted to gain his own kingdom? Yes. Mm -hmm. He wins. He gets his kingdom. In the manga, yep. he has, he has his own kingdom. He wins. He gets his wish. Yep. At the price of his friends. All of his friends. Literally everybody, and he doesn't everybody care. Everybody gets screwed. He doesn't. Exactly. He... But on the bright side, Casca gets her memories back. She has been brought out of her catatonic, like, you know, bleh, mind yeah. state. Because the elf Since queen was nice. Nice. I, I could... That was like one of the reasons why I couldn't sit and watch this anime. That anime is like, oh god, I can't even sit and watch that. It's it's, it's pretty gruesome. It, it's, it's very again not safe for Blissy, and yet I saw it. I wonder if the <laughs> torch would. Okay, anybody who's played Plants vs Zombies, will the torch would make any difference for the mushrooms that shoot out? <laughs> I don't. No, I think so. I've never played it. I don't think so, if I remember correctly. And I heard Blissy giggling over there. What are you laughing at? I'm just like, you say this out of context, nobody's gonna understand. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Can I just, can I, yeah, uh, Ro, Rose, Rosary Rose. says no. Just call her Rose. Oh, Rose, okay. Uh, Rose says no, they, they will not be affected. Oh, there you go. So the fire logs do not, do not uh, assist. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go. pass on that. Nope. This, the, the one thing that I want to see from the show, because they're literally the reason why, like, the reason the names, for the namesake of the entire, like, series, where the fuck are the dwarves in Berserk? That's the one thing that pisses me off. I want dwarves. Hello, Hello Aeon. Hi, Peter. Aeon. What? <laughs> that was weird. That was that was a like, weird burp cup. Burp cup. <laughs> Cause I, a hiccup with a burp. I forgive me here, cause I'm about to go on a tangent because uh, massive D and D, Lord of the Rings, Dragon Age, and done like Pathfinder uh, nerd here. Uh, I think that dwarves are underrepresented in fantasy media. It's all about elves or humans or dragons or gi giants, anything else like that. Dwarves are given next to no screen time, be even though in their respective mythology, where they come from, they forge some of the most important items to that pantheon, namely being the spear Gungnir for Odin, the hammer Mjolnir for Thor, a collapsing boat that's given to Frey, and Sif's golden hair to replace the hair that was cut off of her by Loki. Now, in most fantasy worlds, the dwarves live underground and fight the monsters that live underground with no thanks, no reward, and no recognition from any of the other races for the sacrifice that they face day in and day out. They live a constant war that sees hundreds upon thousands of their kin, family, and friends slaughtered for no apparent reason, protecting people who will probably never even come to visit them or give them a, even a wave in passing. And most fantasy mediums just shove the dwarves to the background. The only one that I can think of that doesn't is literally a novel called The Dwarves and yeah, Dragon Age, because the stage. dwarves are one of the most important allies that you can get in that game. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Lord of the, even in Lord of the Rings, they aren't that important. They're mostly just important in The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah but they're at least given some importance at some points. Like, I know Hobbits are, like, the number one thing. So it kind of makes sense to, like... This is the thing that made me angry about, like, the opening for the Lord of the Rings movie. And, like, in the books, it's mentioned, but they didn't add it. They say that it's the last alliance of men and elves. That was not true. King Durin the Fourth emptied the entirety of Moria of all of its warriors to go and fight at the Black Gate with the rest of the men and the elves. He sent every warrior he had, leaving his home turf completely defenseless to go and help the elves and the men without any, without them asking for his aid. He did it free of his own free volition. 
How cool would it have been there. to see a dwarven spear wall in that opening scene from the first Lord of the Rings movie? That'd have been pretty neat. <laughs> that shit would have been fucking awesome. Just <laughs> the orcs break on a shield wall of dwarven steel. No one gets past the dwarf wall. Because canonically in Lord of the Rings, the dwarves are the best craftsmen in Middle Earth. Even though the elves can like make magic items, they can't make any like any kind of weaponry or armor better than the dwarves can. Because the dwarves are just better. <sighs> Imagine if elves and dwarves work together to make the best magical weapon. Oh my god, nothing the forces of evil would have no fucking <laughs> chance. Or just get the dwarves to build a cage to hold Sauron in, and then have the elves enchant it. They, they are the... There, <laughs> there was something that happened like that, only it was it was with Sauron's teacher, Melkor, the original Dark Lord. He was literally bound in chains crafted by the god who created the dwarves, Aule. And he still managed to get away. Oh. Oh shit. Because Me because Melkor's brother Manway is a stupid fucking moron, and I can say that because he doesn't <laughs> understand the concept of evil. Literally, it's written in the in the legendarium that Manway cannot understand evil. He doesn't understand it whatsoever. So when Melkor said, "Oh, I'm not going to do any more evil things. I will be I will I will be a good boy. You have my word." Manway was like, "Well, that's good enough for me." <laughs> Speaking of D&D, &D, is there a way to slay a Maledius? Uh, yes, there is. You have to go to the layer of the abyss that they were born out of, and you have to kill them there. Oh, Here's so it's the... like the hive from Destiny. You yes. have to kill them in their throne world or whatever. Yes, <sighs> demons and devils in D&D, &D, you have to kill them on the plane of existence that they originated from, or else they will go back to that plane and just regenerate, even if you are in a subquential space of that same plane. Like, say you were on the 66th level of the Abyss, and the Maladius that you were fighting came from the 83rd. You gotta kill it on the 83rd, or it's Shit. just gonna come back. It is a bitch and a half to get rid of any extra planar entity in D&D. &D. Hmm. It just, it just gets progressively harder and harder. What Unless they're the fake. hell? Oh my Cause god. What? It's a dude in a jack in the. Buddy. It's a dude oh. who's got a. F what the? It's a suicide bomber. Yeah, no. As soon as it springs, he explodes. What the fuck? Yeah. What the he, fuck? He, he, indeed. He blew up. He blew up. Oh, I need to start. I need to start D and D. When to learn? Uh, there's actually a series made by the cast of a very popular D&D &D web show called Critical Role that's called Handbook or Helper. It's very easy to help digest 5th edition D&D. For earlier editions of D&D, you might have to, like, go to somebody who's actually played those editions because... They made a tutorial exactly... video? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, Critical Role has a whole series called Handbook or Helper that explains, like, different races, different classes. Okay, uh, so I know that it's that Critical Role has been around... For a while, how long has this hand uh, that that handbook helper thing been around? It just started last year, I do believe. Oh, okay. Or this year, yeah, they just started doing it because before they couldn't do it because they were part of Geek and Sundry. But as of like late last year, they became their own company. It's the reason why they're able to make their own cartoon now, which I'm excited for. 